What's going on, everybody? We always get asked this question every time we get on a motorcycle that, oh, how do we get a driver's license? Is it motorcycle ride hard to ride? Is it difficult to get on a motorcycle? Is it hard to ride? All these bunch of random questions that we get about uh, whenever people see us on a motorcycle. So we decided to address one of the questions, and that question is how to ride a motorcycle. So today I'm going to do a basic a uh, motorcycle tutorial on how to ride. I'm not a professional. This is the way I ride the motorcycle, so please don't judge me on that. And if you do judge me, all right, so I'm on the bike now. The first thing first, I want to do a disclaimer that uh, always wear your uh, jacket. That's the number one thing. The only reason I'm not wearing a jacket right now because it's hot and I'm in a parking lot and I'm trying to explain myself. So that's the only reason my jacket is put aside. So please, please always wear your jacket if you can and you should always wear your jacket and the next thing is simple you just turn on the bike you give a throttle and you just whip it like ah, that's it you're done now i'm just uh i tried to be a make a corny joke right there but so here we are so now i'm going to show you guys a couple of more features on the bike that almost every bike has so this is your on the left you have your lighting light you have your beam light and then you have indicator uh, right here left right I'm gonna turn on the bike to show you guys so this is your left your left indicator turns on you push it to the right your right indicator turns on you push it back and it goes normal and then this one also has a horn if you press the horn right there and this is your light right there and the clutch is always on your left side your front brake is always on the right side your throttle is always on the right side and all your features that you use is always on the left side this is your rear brake which is on the right side and then you have your shifter right here oh my god i touched the ground dang it uh this is your shifter uh this is your where you change your gear from by holding the clutch okay and that's your stand which saves you a lot of times trust me and that's the basics of the motorcycle and this is your speedometer as you can see that's the speedometer uh, you have your MPH up here your trip one trip two is right here your, uh, your temperature is right here on the right side Every bike has different stuff, but this is for this bike, particular bike, and that's your time and your gear shift. So almost all the bikes at this point in 2020, every bike has all this stuff digitized. So you're going to see all this stuff in every single bike. It's almost the same with different formatting. So that's that. This is your fuel gauge. This is your uh, high beam. This is your neutral, and this is your indicator. Um, these are your mirrors. You kind of need them, but you kind of don't need them. It really depends now so okay on the right side now we come to the right side to start the bike right uh, this is first of all this is Sean's bike this is not by my bike I just wanted to use Sean's bike for this demonstration because his side bike looks a little bit more sleekier than mine so this right here is for your front this top box right here is for your front uh, front brakes so the uh, this is the oil for your front brakes okay and now we come to the right side we have this is called kill switch this is basically the lifeline of motorcycle if you turn this off which is upwards the bike is completely shut off wherever it is it just shuts off completely and if you, when you turn it on then it gives you it gives a start to the engine and then you press this button right here to start the bike this one the bottom one right here you press it to start the bike so for some motorcycles you need to hold clutch to turn on the bike so first thing is your engine is killed so you turn on the engine right and then for my bike i need to hold the clutch for sean's bike he does not need to hold the clutch so for his bike you just make sure you're in neutral so now he does not need to hold the clutch like i said earlier so now i will just go press the button there we go voila the bike is turned on uh after we are done with this part we'll wait for a second okay you you wanna in this is already a warmed up bike but in reality when you take out the bike from the garage or in a cold weather or even in the hot weather you want to make sure you want to let your bike sit for a minute for it to get warmed up and then you want to take out the bike it's just like cars but cars you don't really need it but for bike i think it's a better deal to uh, do that because they are still fuel injected but still it's a, it's just a good habit to have so now we are here 
I'm gonna turn this off for a second and I'm gonna explain you guys all the gear. This bike has six gears. So you have your first gear, which is a uh, downshift, right? So you downshift to go to your first gear. And then in between your first and second gear, you have your neutral. And then every gear other than the first gear shifts up, okay? So every gear other than your first gear shifts up. So I'll show you guys. So now I'm here. I'm gonna turn this bi uh, bike on again. I turned it on. So right now I'm in neutral. So what gear I need to go to? I need to go to first gear. So I'm gonna hold in the clutch, right? I'm gonna hold in the clutch. Excuse my shoes. I'm gonna push down and I'm in first gear. You see the neutral light is gone and now I'm in first gear, okay? So now, in order for me to roll a bike like this, you don't really need to give any race or any throttle for the bike to roll, okay? So this is the number one thing that causes people to have stupid incidents where if you're new, all you do is you go like this, and you just let go of the clutch and the bike just goes flying and it just runs into a tree so right now i have this bike i have it in first gear it's warmed up and everything i want to start rolling okay so i'm in first gear look at my hand look at my left hand okay i'm not giving any any race and i'm just letting go of the clutch and it's rolling look my hands are off and my bike is rolling okay it's rolling it's rolling it's rolling and as soon as i grab it it will go back to neutral so holding the clutch all the way in is like holding the clutch all the way in is like being in a neutral okay so your bike goes into neutral basically when you hold the clutch all the way in okay so as you said i don't need to have any race and my bike started rolling so now once i start rolling like i am right once i start rolling i'm gonna give a little bit of throttle and i'm gonna get on the bike right now i'm on the bike my bike is rolling I need to go to my second gear now because my bike is start rolling. Your first gear is just for rolling. Do not just keep ray giving rev on the first gear. Now I went halfway. I messed up. Now I'm in neutral. Okay. So now in order for me to go back to, I should go back to gear one, right? And I go and I give a race. In order for me to hit gear two, I need to push harder. Okay. Because you're and remember in between gear one and two there's neutral so i need to go past the neutral so i'm going to push up a little bit harder than i would for any other gear so i go this is my gear one i'm rolling i'm rolling i'm rolling and there you go i'm in gear two now and i'm rolling there you go bike is going i'm going i'm going now right now i'm in parking lot so i don't really need to go any into third gear or fourth gear because this does not require me to the reason you go into higher gears is the higher speed, right? So if you're in the higher speed, you need to go to higher speed because your start, bike starts whining. It starts to like scream and it gets heavy if you don't change the gear. So for that reason, you go into higher gear. So right now I'm in second gear and I'm coming back to a stop. When I come to a stop, I keep hold my brakes and boom, I change my gear and I'm good to go. That's it. Well, there you go. I have this bike. As soon as I put it in first gear, it's going to turn off. Ready? See? The bike turned off. Because the reason is my stand is down. Stand has a sensor connected to the engine that lets it know your stand is down. That's a hazard. That's a, that's a safety issue. So I'm rolling in second gear. So I wanted to talk about another thing. That thing is that uh, you want to be extremely, extremely careful in your uh in braking okay this is another beginner's thing that people uh, tend to mess up on is that they press the front brake too hard and either they go flying over the front or they brake too hard the bike jerks and they fall off even on slow speeds especially in slow speeds you have a lot of uh, problems with that issue so the best thing to do about it oh look at that look at that look at that they're having a party over there okay so you usually want to brake in a fashion that you don't want to use your front brake too much. So you want to use both of your brakes, but put more emphasis on your rear brake. So I'll show you guys an example, okay? So right now, I'm going to do super slow, and I'm going to just press the front brake, okay? Look at my stoppage, how jerky it's going to be. Ready? Ready? Oh my God, look at that. This brake is like the best brake possible, right? <laughs> look at me. Okay, 
This brake is the strong brake where it just stops the front wheel and you can just get pushed forward. This is the safety safety brake, okay? So now I'm gonna do it with just the rear brake and you guys will see the difference, okay? So I'm my first gear again, I'm rolling again and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Keep going, I'm keep going, keep going. And I'm in slow speed. And I'm gonna use my rear brake. Look how, how hard it is for me to stop. It's not stopping. I was holding my rear brake down for a little while and it wasn't stopping, right? So that's rear brake. Rear brakes are softer. It's for your rear wheel so it doesn't get locked and you don't get you don't go flying skidding off on the road, right? So what the re what the what the magic is is using the both both of the brakes and watch how the bike stops so smoothly and it stops straight. Or whichever angle you want it to stop at. I'm rolling, right? I'm rolling in my first gear, which you shouldn't do too much. In reality, you should immediately change your second gear because second gear is the gear you want to start. First gear is just for rolling. So now I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. I want all of a sudden I want to stop. I hold my front, I hold my rear, and boom, I'm stopped. That's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to use less of the front, more of the rear brake for the bike to stop smoothly. Okay? So you're done with that part. The clutch has a friction zone that it can, you can feel it. So once you have in your first gear, when you just practice on the bike, just sit on the bike, turn it on, put it in first gear, and just feel the clutch releasing. And then you will find this zone where the bike starts to move. Right? So look, look at my hand. Right now, bike's not moving. I'm not giving any space. It's not moving, it's not moving, it's not moving. Uh, that's where it catches it and it starts to roll so that's the thing you guys gotta learn about each bike has a different friction zone different amount of release that you need on a clutch okay so that's one of the things you gotta be really careful about and with that being said I think this has been everything that I need to cover for a beginner tutorial this is obviously I'm not a professional Bruh. I try to teach everything and possible that that way I was taught as well uh, quick and easy it's not that difficult uh, before I end this video I just wanted to say there's two ways to get the license one way is to have your own bike and do it the traditional way you go to the uh, DMV of your local DMV and you have your own bike you get your learners by giving a written exam and then you wait a little while and then you go ahead and give your uh, test uh, driver's test that's one way of getting a motorcycle the another way of more getting a motorcycle is another way of getting a motorcycle license is by taking the two-day class which is Saturday Sunday class in majority of the states uh, this class is only given like about four to five times a year if I'm not mistaken it costs about for me it cost about $250 to get that class I, I even though I even though I rode the bikes before I just took that class because they provide you with the motorcycle so you can ride their motorcycles they they provide you with the track to ride the motorcycle on they give you a written test they teach you the written test and they, they test you on the driver's test as well and all you got to do is after that class if you pass everything that they require you just go to DMV and you get your license plus you get their certification which helps you in getting lower insurance as well so i'll suggest you guys take the class if you can if you cannot take the class and if you have the bike of your own then you should go ahead and go directly to dmv so this is either way both ways work we did this video for the beginner people and this is how you ride a motorcycle i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you guys had a fun time with me in riding this um, in riding the motorcycle i hope you guys got some helpful tips and if you did please hit the like button and please leave a comment we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and you want to hit the subscribe button you can if you want you know it doesn't cost you anything but i'm just saying all right see you in the next video peace